So let's just jump in. Harmonies compose with ardent melodies therein. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 45 Extending. In today's episode, we set out to do many, 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 many things. What we actually ended up doing so far is we updated our hymn lyric, which you just heard. We changed it so that it says, strange new harmonies compose with ardent melodies within. And you can see that lyric change here, where we struck, basically we swapped the word melody and harmony. We added extended chords, the 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, to the 2, 5, 5, 2 scale. And we can see that here. And we ended up adding quite a lot of new chords here. Quite a lot of, all of these chords here are new at the bottom there, right there, all of these. We also added some chords up here in the minor major. And when we look at our shadow scale reference sheet and look at the differences for 2552, five, two, here it is. We originally had 18 uh, full tonality chords and seven minor, seven major, and we now have uh, now we have 36 full tonality and nine and nine. So, that, so 54 chords total now, rather than 18 plus 14, which is 45. So we added a lot, 35, 35. Yeah, we like added 20 chords. Now we've started to, uh, we, we had already done that for this 3443R, and we had jumped up from basically 20 chords to 38. So we're adding 20 chords-ish by adding the one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five extended chords. And that was the theme of today, it was extended. Then we just began today, remember we have a third scale, the D flat one, three, three, one. And we've just started to add the chords and we had to do a count over here. How many do we think we have? Three, five, six, eight, plus 10. So I think we have 18 more chords to add down here. So that's where we're going to pick up next time. All of the other ideas we had, the, the main reason we're adding extended chords is because it lets us have cool compositions. And we've composed in 2552 at least twice now, the trio, recorder, and violin. And then last year we did a, a piano lyrical thing. And we want something that has some more oomph to it. We call it a little more oomph here. Compose something with oomph. And whatever oomph is, uh, it just means, you know, some kind of different sounding cadences. And the way we think we're going to get to that is A, add the extended chords, and then B, begin sorting them in note function order. And uh, which really worked well for us on the 3443R. It, it, that 3443R new composition, the hymn and the themes, is just humming through our head constantly. And as you can see, we still want to work with it some more, the, have a, the hymn solo lyric and all that. So we're kind of pleased about that, kind of pleased about that. So that's actually a great lead in for what should we, what should we end on again? Well, we'll just play the last, stanza of the hymn and that'll bring us home stanza three so we'll play from here and then bring us home here we go
So that concludes today's stream. Even this ending stanza has a has a minor major minor major shift. The the harmony, the cadence, the chords in the middle, which include uh, these unusual chord intervals, make it. They just make it work. The three four four three R, and they're using the one two one three one four one five type of extended stuff. So that is why we want to take that approach and go back to our other scales. So again, the ideas for next time, uh, now that we've updated the lyric, let's repost our hymn animation. You just heard it and saw the new lyric. Um, we want to explore taking out the upper and lower solo lines and experiment with them. We we were singing this today in our on our walk and and we just want to hear what two melodies sound like singing with each other. We would like to look at some more animation ideas for our full media suite, which is the hymn plus the themes plus the trio plus the uh, shadow triptych. Uh, and then return to our extension idea enumerating the D flat 1331 chords and getting the reference scores all updated so we can start. You, that's our palette. You know, right now we're grinding the pigments by generating the new chords, then put them on our reference score, which is like our palette of our palette here with paints on it and then dip our brushes in it and start dabbing different cadences onto the score and listening to the sequences and picking out the ones we like and we have a whole new approach for doing that called sorting them by note function um, we'll, we'll need to then complete updating our shadow scale reference chart because we'll who knows how many more chords we're going to find by well we already guesstimated 18 so we need to add that number to this reference sheet and then then we also need to go, uh, if you recall, we took all of our scales and put all of the chords in there, and then we looked for chords that were shared across the three scales. That was our concordance of chords. And if a chord was shared across more than one scale, that chord gave us a way to do kind of a, a modulation shift. We could combine scales into one score, and then somewhere in the middle, relatively seamlessly, boom, over from let's say C2552 into D flat 1331 and then boom from D flat 1331 into C3443R. And we did find shared chords the first time around without using extended chords. So now the idea is update our chord concordance once we've added all of those things. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Please do come back. And as always, keep on streaming.